today's going to be a day of driving. <laughs> I can get four, three or four videos done today, which is great. I'm in, I'm in Gillingham. It's um, some back lane, back road, somewhere. I, I thought I'd start in the town centre and um, I couldn't find the town centre. Not been here before. But we're going to go to Sittingbourne. And because I don't know where I am, I'm just going to follow this road and follow the signs. But we're going to go along the old A2, also known as the London Road. So keep your eyes peeled for all sorts of hazards. It's a busy little morning. Town centre to town centre, right? Bus wants to come out. I think I'll pull on the left just in case he pulls out. And he did. Arriva. Is it Arriva? Yeah, I used to work for them. Did some IT stuff for them. Data migration, because that's what I do. I have a passion for it. Diversion. We're on a diversion, so let's follow the diversion. It'll get us back onto the A2. Watch out for doors opening. There's enough room for two vehicles. Got a delivery van there. I can see the football stadium ahead. That's where Gillingham will play from my last video, if you recall. So where's the diversion sign diverted to the left? But I'm going to do this, you know. I have a funny feeling I can get onto the A2 up this way. I'm going to ignore the diversion because sometimes we do that. It was only the road that's parallel with this that had road closed, so Potentially, both roads meet at the top. Magical mystery tour. If you've never been to Gillingham, this is what it looks like. It's an old, um, well, it's very close to Chatham, which is, of course, the naval port. I can only imagine that uh, Gillingham has kind of links. Drop me a comment. Tell me what Gillingham's famous for. Not from a football team. Bumpy old road though, right? Diversion ends. See, it said to divert to the left down that way, um, and yet it didn't say you could also go right if you want. So these cars are parking on the double yellows on the pavement, which means I have to creep out. Nothing to my right. Car at garage. Lights are green so we can carry on. Pedestrians with dog. got rattles, cars turning left. I wonder what the old A2 between uh, Gillingham and Sittingbourne is like, traffic wise, on the left hand lane here. Oh, it's only four miles to Wal Walders Lane, that way. Dual carriageway, one way system. Well, it's not one way, but, you know, don't expect cars coming at you on the other side. We've got cars parked on the left, so I'm going to have to creep into this lane. Car reversing out onto the main road. So no, no. Not supposed to do that. Red 
headlights. So this is the A2 and in its heyday it would have just been a two-way road with all of these little junctions feeding on and off. Um, but since they've made it dual carriageway, they've put all these traffic lights in, you know, to control the junctions, which is fine because volume of traffic, right? However, I mean, you get them every couple of hundred yards along the road. 40 mile an hour zone now. Chance would be a fine thing. Once we get past the main roundabout, it should be plain sailing. This isn't the same all the way down to Sittingbourne. guess what some people are doing if they don't make their intentions known. So because the lane says A2, you think people don't want to indicate, but you should still indicate off a roundabout. It's the rules and it's good form. Right, plenty of space between the car in front and me. Nothing around me. Just watch out for lights changing, cars coming out of junctions, pedestrians jaywalking, and staying at 40 miles an hour. these roads get so rough. to London Road which is I think as far as I can remember just two-way traffic all the way along now I don't think there's any more dual carriageway See this north side of Kent. The power of editing. I can just cut out all the waiting. You don't get to have to endure it. <gasps> Too close to stop. 
I was. It practically changed just as I was on it. And had I stopped, someone behind me would have ploughed into me. Okay, more build up. This is where you pay particular attention to what's happening around you when you're unfamiliar with the route or the roads. You kind of know it's this general direction, but if it's not a road, you know, if it's a road less traveled, is that what they say? For yourself. Oh, they've got a beef eater over there. Don't have many of them in Kent. They used to do nice food until they tried to go up market and then serve your food to you on wooden breadboards and stupid stuff like that. What the hell is wrong with a plate? <laughs> One of my pet hates. People trying to be fancy serving food on things other than plates. <laughs> Chips in a little wire basket. Shut up, pretentious twats. <laughs> I'm not having any of it. The old fashioned. Raynham. This is Raynham in Kent. I think there's supposed to be some historic buildings along this route. It's, it's nice to see an old town that actually has a main thoroughfare, in this case the A2, right through the centre of it. Can you imagine this in the 50s and the 60s with all their old shops, you know, butchers and bakers and people just stopping in their old, you know, Morris Oxfords and stuff to do their shopping. We don't have that anymore, obviously supermarkets out at industrial estates or retail parks as they're called but in its heyday this was the centre of town petrol prices are going up again 156 this morning to put some petrol in or diesel and here at Asda it's 147 obviously it wouldn't do for me to drive 30 miles to get 10 pence cheaper fuel but why is it 10 pence cheaper here than it is where I live 20 miles down the road you never know why like lots of congestion lots of cars parked pedestrian cleaning his car You're just always kind of thinking is someone going to nip out between a parked car Right, I think we're leaving Raynham now, which means we could have a good run into Sittingbourne, or not. Forty mile an hour zone. Tell you what, it's not as quick as my um previous video, the M2. M2, 70 miles an hour. A2, currently 26. <laughs> yeah, don't take the country road. Yeah, it's 40 zone, but we're doing 30. doing 27. I'm not sure what the, the car in front is doing other than getting on my nerves. I shouldn't let it, I really shouldn't, but is that necessary really? Are they just chatting away with each other? It's 
solid white my side so I can't overtake. Road is clear after the blue car so I'm going for it because we're allowed to. She's got a mask on. She's in the car by herself and she's got a mask on. Is that allowed? Of course it's allowed but is that kind of over precaution? Hartlip Hill. I am doing 40 now. And to increase must be to overtake. <laughs> oh, the things you see, eh? There's the speed camera. I'm doing 40. <laughs> if it takes a picture of me, it's only because it wants to do some <laughs> portrait photography. Probably driven through here before, but I don't recall it at all. We have a cyclist up ahead with some cars coming in the opposite direction, so the cars in front of me are not going to overtake, which is probably quite sensible. Twenty mile an hour zone. Okay, let's adhere to twenty miles an hour. It will seem particularly slow. But them's the rules, people. a junction on the left. Is this the first road sign I've seen? I haven't noticed any. As well as no right turn. A quaint little town of Newington. Or was it a village? Village Hall, so, so it's definitely a village, right? Into a 30 zone. I guess that's the thing where you have a main A road going through a little village. They're going to have to control the traffic, aren't they? to a 40 zone. How far to Sittingbourne, people? Seem to have been on the road for ages. Guess what the next video is going to be, can't you? Because what's the next town after Sittingbourne? It's Faversham. Have you ever been to Faversham? Stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to go there. Back to a 30 zone. they built the M2, can you imagine how busy this road would have been with all the trucks, 18 wheelers, 
buses, cars. Round about head, signifying the sitting one is straight on, which I know, because that's the route I'm taking. six here so a mere three or four miles down the road almost 10 pence more expensive strange cars indicating to pull over Borden I thought Borden was in Hampshire Seems like every county has got every town. Currently doing 30. I didn't see any speed signs, but it is built up. doing 30 so no need to worry if it was a 40 then I'm well within it anyway but why would this be a 40 talk about catching them out there aren't many um, road signs on this route I've noticed Born Holiday Inn, so we're on the outskirts of Sittingbourne now. How long has this video taken? He's going for it. Imagine if he'd have slipped a clutch and stalled just right in front of me. I could have ploughed into him claimed the insurance and got myself a new car. <laughs> Maybe that's not the forward planning I should be thinking about, right? But he would have been in the wrong. Right, it seems to be a one-way system I'm approaching. Ever, ever remember going to Sittingbourne. So this is a first for me. Where am I going? I want to head for the station, really. Let's go this way, because I can stop at the station, can't I? Is that a queue of traffic or is that someone parked? It's a queue of traffic. Get inside my lane. I can see the station ahead. That's a great place to stop the um, video, I think. in 
here and stop the video. You don't want to endure it anymore, do you? I'll stop here in front of the sitting porn. Oh man alive, that was some journey. I've done hundreds of editings on that and yet it'll still be a long video. <laughs> Just a route I've never done before. That was Gillingham to Sittingbourne, so I've probably got the sun in my eyes. Let's just readjust. I say sun in my eyes. I've got the sun on the camera. <laughs> yeah, Gillingham to Sittingbourne. Not worth it, really. <laughs> just another one to add to the collection, right? So thanks for watching. Bear with. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now. Drive with care. Thank you.